Hello, this is Mike with Trade Winds RV Center. Here to congratulate you on your 2024 Sierra 391 FLRB fifth wheel. I'm going to walk you around it, show you how to use a few things so you can get the best out of your camping experience. Let's start by talking about arriving at the campsite and a few things to take into consideration when you're parking this. On your campsite, not only are you going to leave room for your slide, that outdoor kitchen door to open, but I also want you to think about how much room you're going to need for your awning. Get two slides on this side actually, but your awning will go out the furthest. And then this side, besides all of your slides, I want you to think about where your power and water connection is going to be. Your power is going to be back toward the rear of the unit, probably about three quarters of the way back. And then your docking station for water is going to be up in this compartment here. So park accordingly so you can utilize the facilities at the campsite. Once you arrive, unhook our hitch. First thing we do is level our unit. Your auto leveling system is going to be inside your battery compartment here. And come up here. Turn this on. And all we're simply going to do is make sure our vehicle's out of the way. We can hit, we can hit front and move it up and down. But um shut that back off. Turn this on. Get your vehicle out of the way. And then we're just going to hit auto level. Ground knee jacks are going to drop down first in the front. That's why you want to get your vehicle completely out of the way. Is this up? Now she's gonna go ahead and dance around for a few minutes. Landing jack's gonna get level. It's gonna bring down these stabilizers, those stabilizers. And it's gonna level at level and stable your unit. Once your unit's level and stable, next thing we do is hook up our power and water. Power cord plugs in way back here. All right, so the way this 50 amp cord will go on is it'll come in say about 11 o'clock turn it to the right about noon and then put your black washer on now should you need to plug into a 30 amp in your convenience pack will be a 50 to 30 amp dog bone they call it and then a 30 to 15 amp in case you need to plug into a 110 just remember run uh, appliances accordingly when running off 110. see we're still dancing around here getting the unit level all right, we got our power hooked up. Let's hook up our water. Here's your docking station. So our campsites, we're going to hook up to city water. You've got three knobs here that we're going to need to match this. Blue to the left, green to the left, white down. Now we're going to hook up where it says city water connection. First and foremost, a water pressure regulator. This water pressure regulator is going to reduce water pressure to 40 to 50 PSI, protecting the lines in your unit, always use these because you don't know what the water pressure is at different campsites so we're going to hook that up hard to do here one-handed but we're going to hook that up then you get your big hose there hook that up take it over to the faucet but don't turn a faucet on yet you may have last time you went camping drained your hot water heater just gonna lift right off here so just make sure that your thumb screw down there is to the right and it, that's all closed up. And then you can go ahead and turn on that hose. Now after that hose been out for a few minutes, we can go inside, open up our slides if we need to, but we need to get inside and get through all of our water lines. Open up your sinks, your showers, all your faucets, get a nice steady flow of water going through them, and then go ahead and shut them off and you're all set to camp. Now let's say we're going to go dry camping. When dry camping, you have a two-step process. First, you're going to start with a power tank fill. That's your city inlet to your tank. Everything's same except for turning that blue down. Same spot we're going to fill it at. However, this time while we're filling this up, we're going to go inside and on our control panel, there's a spot where you can see your black and gray tanks. There's also a fresh water button. Keep an eye on that when filling it up. Once it's full, come back out here, remove this hose, then you will switch to dry camping when you're ready to camp with it. White down, green up, blue to the left. Now, whenever you want to utilize the water you just put in your fresh water tank, you'll turn on your water pump. Don't turn on your water pump and hook to city water. That is already pressurized. All right, we're all set to camp. We got power and water both ways, city or dry camping. 
We'll go ahead and walk you around the rest of the unit, continuing here in this docking station. So up top we've got a, a galley pole. Over here is your freshwater uh, filter, or your water filter. Down here you can quick connect this spray port hose to that and have a hot and cold shower. Over here is where you hook up all of your cable. And again, our knobs. The other two things you can do in this is winterize and siphon. Siphon is just sucking in some soapy water into your black tanks. Uh, down here is our city water connection. Over here is our black tank flush. So there's actually two black tanks on this. So this will be your half bath up in the front. That's where we'll uh, black tank flush that. I'll talk about that when we're leaving the campsite. And then this is the rest of your uh, black tank. Continuing in here. Not everyone uses these filters, so we don't always put them in. We leave you the handles to put it in yourself if you want. Spray uh, our sewage hose. We utilize that in a little bit. Spray port hose. Quick connect LP for your griddles over there. Water hose. Uh, coming here is your battery disconnect. This will disconnect all the battery power to the unit. Docking light here. Shut that off. That will shut off all the battery power. Uh, over here is your Go Power Solar Controller. Your whole purpose of this is to make sure that you, you are on flooded battery. Because that's got batteries that you have in this. Um, that's it. It's set to flooded. It should stay to flooded. I'll send you a separate video from Go Power about this. In case it ever, some reason, falls off flooded and you need to get it back on there. Real simple process. Uh, below our area here is going to be our fresh water drain, batteries, leveling system. That is a vent for your batteries. This is a flue for your furnace. A couple things on that. Uh, one, make sure it's never blocked. Two, if you're running your furnace, steer clear, but it does get hot, and we do sell bug guards for those. Your hot water heater. One of our dumps. Our regular low point drains are gonna be right there. Back here's your other dump. This is access to your black and gray um pulling tanks here talk about that when we're leaving the campsite storage again our power tons of storage on this thing prep for a backup camera and that's where your ladder attaches on your ladder get up there a couple times a year two three times a year check the seams of your roof and caulk as needed with recommended rv roofing caulk uh, coming down our campsite here Again, this is the other side of our storage area. There is your ladder. All this storage has lighting. There's a lip for your griddle, and there's your quick connect LP for that griddle. Over here is outdoor kitchen area. A nice little cover for your sink. This would be one of your galley tanks. Lighting in here. Little ever chill fridge. Make sure that you have this locked when you're traveling. Because this pops up going down the road. We're going to have some issues. So make sure you lock that. The spray port hose that's showing you for the hot and cold shower. That'll hook up on this side as well. There's that griddle access panel to a lot of electrical easy access for text and cable 110 in case you want to bring a tv and set it out here over here is going to be our propane tanks pull that to the left to pull that towards you your propane is on a regulator lefty loosey point it toward the tank you wish to be using um, if it turns red you're out of gas Lastly, up front, you can have your spare tire and your fluids for your hydraulic leveling system. Nice little docking light here as well. And that about covers everything out here. Let's go open it up and check out the inside.
Uh, so coming up inside your unit, first thing I always like to point out is the fire extinguisher. Make sure that you and everyone is camp with you knows the fire extinguisher is located by the entry doorway in case of an emergency. Bring it right around here. We'll come in here, turn these lights on, and open our control panel, which is on this side. All right. So here's your password and device name for Lippert. In case you want to hook this up to your uh, phone, you can do a lot from your phone with this. Your slides, your lights, etc. So up top is where you're going to see the levels of all of your tanks. That fresh water button is the one I said to keep an eye on when you're filling it. Two blacks and it shows three grays here. Over here it shows your battery. Here's your main lighting, entry lighting, hall lighting, awning lighting, step lighting. Here's where you can connect your phone to this for Bluetooth. Here's where you turn on your water pump when you want to get to that fresh water. Here's where you turn on your tank heater. That's a little 12 volt pad that's on your tanks. Keeps them from freezing um, if you're in inclement weather. Awning retract, and then our slides. Main, bed, off door side, and door side. Main, I'm gonna go ahead and hit out and get this main hydraulic slides kicking out here. Should open up both of our kitchen ones. Dine that out first. And then this one kicks out right behind it. Check these doors when you get in here. Make sure that they haven't popped open going down the road. They shouldn't. They're pretty secure. Next is our bed. Get out on that. You can see that go out from here. I we do that door closed by swung it open so you can see that open up. You can usually hear it from here. You know, you can't see it but you're here when it's done that's the heat of holding tanks i was telling you about all right off door side as that runs out i'm measuring here is your thermostat fury ones fury on ones are really easy when you've got water on it and it's turned on outside um all you gotta do is turn this on in here and set it to the temperature that you want All right, now we're going to go door slide. That heads out. I also mentioned that I will send you a video from TST on this tire pressure monitoring system and how to hook that up. I think you can also get a Wi-Fi and cellular system on this. I'm familiar with that. You got one camera charging ports down here and a very loud track truck outside. He's doing that. Let me close that up. Come into your kitchen, your fridge. Uh, all controls are inside there. Self-explanatory microwave. This is a. Uh, there's a manual for every single one of your appliances. So check them out. There is a. There it is. Light and fan above your cooktop here high and low on your cooktop that was a panel light turn that to your flame push it in you may have to bleed your lines for a minute oh that was the oven so yeah if this has been setting for a minute you will have to let it set these three are your burners turn that to your flame press it in and you may have to do it several times until you get some gas in these lines hold that in and there's those same thing on the oven turn it to your flame click light it get down in there and make sure that your pilot light lit some paperwork there check all that out max air vent just hit fan on or fan off it's not a vent actually it's just a fan fan off there um, your island check keep an eye on your plumbing here's an access panel to it it's mostly pex nowadays just make sure nothing's wiggled loose going down the road on this side of your island is some accent lighting and your 12 volt carbon monoxide propane detector now the reason i mentioned this is 12 volt this is always running off your battery 
So keep an eye on that. And uh, if you're out dry camping, you might want to use your battery disconnect to keep this from running your battery down if you're gone all day. Back over here by my control panel down here, I miss my fuses. A couple threes, tens, fifteens, and twenties. Highly recommend having some of those with you when you go camping. And then in here is your breakers. Back up, head up the hallway here into our living room real quick. Remotes. Let's go ahead and turn TV on. One thing I want to tell you on your TV is when you get to the campsite, go into the home, run a digital channel scan so that you can pick up the local channels at the station. Also, as you probably already know, your TV is on what they call a televator. Bring that down. Make sure that you bring this down for traveling. When you're moving this, have this down. We don't want it up, moving around. Charging ports and 110s there. All right, let's go to our next remote, which is going to be our sound system. JBL sound system, really nice. AM, FM, Bluetooth, indoor, outdoor speakers. There we go, music. Turn it up a little bit. Back up. There we go. So everything's controlled from here. Again, JBL sound system, really nice. And lastly, your fireplace. Now, I can go through and make this brighter or dimmer, but that's not the big thing with these now, folks. It's the heat. I cranked it on, and I can already feel it all the way out here. If it's chilly in here in the morning or evening, if you're at a campsite, don't waste your gas. Use your, their electricity to warm this up. This will heat it up in here in no time. It's also a touch screen. These are recliners here. Just pull on this parachute pole, I call it. To recline these. But these, however, will turn into a bed. Show you quickly how to do that. Pillows. Your Velcro backs. So what you want to do is you want to stand right in the middle, lift this up, fold your legs out, pull it up and towards you. It's really light and easy to do. Reach to the back, fold that down, and just that quickly, you've got a bed. Same thing with that one. That one will do the same. They'll actually meet right here. One huge bed. Biggest thing is putting these away. Make sure you lift your back up first. Otherwise, you will damage your sofa. Again, standing in the middle gives you good leverage. Hold these in. Watch your fingers as you bring it down. Put your, put your cushions back on. And just that quickly, you're back to a sofa. That is your emergency exit window, by the way. Plumber's those handles easier to get out of. Here's your lighting probe here. Covers everything up here. Let's show you your smoke alarm. Uh, lighting for dinette, dinette lighting. But that's more lighting up here. Dinette lighting's on here. This is our thermostat. Room temperature 69. Our mode, we're going to switch to by pushing this. I'm going to switch it to heat. No, let's go to cool first. High fan. Set to 33. Now you hear it come on up in there. I'll show you. These also have a quick dump. When you first arrive at the campsite, if it's smoking hot in here, come up here, open that quick dump up, and it'll blast cold air through here. Now we shut. Put back around to mode. The mode, I'm going to switch mode to heat. Make sure I'm going to switch it to off first. So you can hear that fan up there shut off quickly. Now, I'm going to switch to heat. Set to 90. 
there's your return for that, so you'll hear it mostly there. What you will notice also, should be the same with this. Let me go into mode and shut that off. Oops. Off. Off. Generally, most furnaces take a few minutes for the fan to cycle through before it actually shuts off. So we'll let that run. Come up the hallway to our bedroom. A couple things on this. Make sure you have to fold your bed in half before you close your slide. And have this door closed. You've got a separate thermostat up here. Let's go into mode here. And bring that over to cool. This is just for the AC up here. Turn some lighting on. There's that AC with the same type of quick dump. Now I'll go back into mode and shut it off. That should shut right off. Uh, coming back here, you've got a bedroom door during travel. We want to make sure that we close this door. We don't want that bouncing up while we're going down the road. I'm um, coming back into our bathroom. You want to put a couple gallons of water in this when you arrive at the campsite. Put your foot on the flusher, flush it, put some water in there. Your black tank will thank you later. If you don't put water in there, you're putting waste into a dry area. And I'm here, up there. I'll turn my lights on, I guess. There we go. Uh, 110 there. Another door to keep an eye on is your shower door. We want to open this all the way up. That's how we want that for traveling. We don't want this to be able to bounce around. Nice skylight there. I think that about covers everything in the unit. Do have access here if you wanted to put in a washer and dryer. So, I think we're going to leave the unit. We'll start all the way in here in the rear. Shutting windows, shutting off lights. Making sure our doors are secure. I like to say doors and drawers. Walk through the unit. Make sure all doors and drawers are secure. Everything's closed in here. Nothing's going to impede this slide from coming in. That includes folding your bed up in half. Shut off these lights. Again, make sure nothing's going to impede that slide. Coming into our kitchen area. A lot of drawers to keep an eye on. Make sure everything's closed and everything's secure for travel. To come to my control panel, shut off all of my lights. Then I can look around and see if there's any accent lights I have left. Shut them off. Shut those off. All my lighting's off. Now I can go to my control panel and just hit main lights. Again, say doors and drawers. Walk to the unit, make sure all doors and drawers are closed. Nothing's going to impede our slides from coming in. We're going to go ahead and start up here. Now remember, if you got your bed down into a bunk, or excuse me, your sofa's down into a bed, you definitely have to bring them up. So I'm going to run through these, run all of your slides in really quick. Side again, one that you'll just physically have to listen for. And our main can be both our hydraulic slides here in the living or er, kitchen area. These hydraulic ones come out pretty quick.
All right, they're all in. Let's exit the unit. Okay, now the biggest thing on these steps, whether bringing them up or down, you need this exterior door all the way open. Otherwise, this is going to catch on it. Your feet are also adjustable. Let's say that this will actually float there. So, if your feet on uneven ground, just push up on that and move the leg to where you need it. Put this set up in here nice and soft. Before you leave the dump station, you're going to lock and deadbolt, lift, and turn this handle. That's how you want that door for travel. But you're going to be going in there and checking the levels of your tanks for deadbolts. Or excuse me, level of your tanks for dumping. So, if we are out dry camping, we're going to come up underneath here, dump that freshwater drain. Come into our control panel again. And now we're simply going to hit retract. Again, first thing that's going to happen is the front of this is going to drop down, so make sure your vehicle is not in the way. Now that's going to bring up our stabilizer jacks back there. all jacks that is done now we're going to hit front and that's going to bring up our front now we'll bring up the front to where you need it to hook up your hitch and then head on home or the nearest dump station whatever you're in need of if we're at a campsite we'll unhook our power our water our cable hook up our hitch and head on, or bring up our stabilizing jacks, hook up our hitch, and head on up to the dump station. Now it's the dump station park accordingly. You got 10 foot hose that comes with this. You've got two places we're gonna dump. We're gonna start up here. Hook up your sewage hose here. And we're gonna come up here to our control panel here, our docking station, and we're gonna pull on this galley tank. That's this front tank. That's going to be your um, island. All right, so when that gal is done dropping, we'll go ahead and get up underneath this wheel here and dump what's called black number two. That's going to be this black tank here. When that's done, leave that black handle open, grab the hose at your dump station, and hook up to this black tank flush. Again, emphasizing leaving that handle open. Turn that hose on and that's gonna wash that black tank out for you. Let it run for, I don't know, five minutes. When that's done, remove that hose. Make sure all that washout water in there that you just put in there has drained. And then close that black handle, grab your sewage hose, and come down here and hook up to here. Now here, we're gonna get inside here. And first thing we're gonna pull is this black. Again, when that black's done, go inside, look to see if black num tank number one is empty. If it is, now we'll grab the hose at the dump station and hook it up down here. Again, emphasizing leaving that black handle open, turn that hose on, run for a good five minutes, wash that out. When it's done, remove that hose. Again, make sure all that washout you put in there has drained. Close that black and pull either one of the grays, one or two. When that one's done, close the other one. Or close that one, pull the other one. When that one's done, close that up. Take the sewage hose and store it in a sanitary place and head on home. Again, thank you guys so much for your purchase. Hope you enjoy the Sierra for many years to come. Happy camping.